we already have a great portfolio here in Europe, we have a strong presence in Europe. Uh, as you may know, we're number one operator in the UK with over more than 300 hotels. Uh, we've seen some phenomenal growth in Germany over the past couple of years, growing our Holiday Inn Express and Holiday Inn brands. Uh, and we see lots of opportunities really for other markets in Europe where there's large uh, growth and volume markets, uh, notably France for instance, where we really see a big opportunity for all our brands uh, and has become now a key market for IHG. Uh, we have, by the way, stepped up our teams here in France, both on the development side, but also the support teams in market based in our Paris office. Uh, so really excited about the growth opportunity generally in Europe. If we talk about the brands, I think there's two categories. Obviously the luxury segment, where historically we've been very present in Europe with our intercontinental brands. Just to give you an example, in France we already have five intercontinentals open. Uh, the sixth is about to come with the opening of uh, Lyon in, in, in June, very nice property as well, uh, where we're really focusing on sort of historic buildings and working together with the owner on how to preserve the historic building <coughs> and still bring the brand to life. Uh, so we'll naturally continue to grow a luxury brand with Intercontinental and Kimpton, uh, Kimpton opening next year in Paris, uh, so that's an, another exciting project. And then this is sort of the mid-scale, upscale portfolio where we also see opportunities to grow. Uh, now you have the more traditional, globally well-known brands like Holiday Inn Express, Holiday Inn or Crown Plaza, uh, which are very optimized from a construction perspective, but also from operational perspective. Uh, so that's uh, of interest to our investors, obviously. Uh, and in line with the current trends, we see opportunity also to launch new brands, uh, more in the space of lifestyle or adaptable for conversion. And that's exactly the reason why we launched Voco in Europe. Uh, so Voco is our upscale brand, very suitable for conversion of existing hotels that look for brand affiliation, but still want to keep and preserve their own personal identity and not necessarily implement hard standards. Um, especially in Southern Europe, I think there's a great opportunity for Voco in lots of key cities uh, to grow throughout the region. And then the Hotel Indigo brand, which is more a boutique lifestyle upscale brand uh, that also has uh, opportunity to grow obviously and, uh, and, and it's more focusing on the neighborhood story, a bit more special and a bit more design oriented. Uh, so that's for the brands. In terms of, I would say, the market itself, uh, obviously the investment market is also changing. So we see a new type of investors entering the hotel market. And we work with the full spectrum of investors, whether it's institutional investors, maybe private equity, maybe owner operators. So they all have different needs. Uh, and that's something that will continue to change also over the, over the coming years, I think. So our role in IG is really to bring value to our partners. We grow, obviously, our brands through partnerships with our investors and to bring them value, whether that's in construction phase, through optimized design, or during the operation uh, with our <coughs> different technology distribution platforms. Uh, and really it's all about the alignment of interest in the end. It's how you create a valuable partnership whereby both parties get, get the value out of it. And I think we are rather pragmatic and flexible and we really try to show, show that in the way we work with our partners. So just an example, we did a deal last year uh, with Covivio in the UK to buy a large portfolio of luxury assets. Um, we also have multiple partnerships in, uh, in different countries across Europe where we really grow with the partner and with the volume. So in essence, it's really a great opportunity in Europe, different growth markets where we want to focus, we want to continue to grow our brands. We have a fantastic portfolio of brands, all clearly identified on their specific segment, clearly identified for our owners and for our investors. Uh, and then it's all about partnership and finding the right balance uh, to continue to, uh, to fuel our growth. It's not so much about the density. I think there's very different markets. There's markets that are more mature than others in Europe, and we see obviously markets like France or UK pretty mature. There's also a lot of markets where uh, it's still developing. If you look at Eastern Europe, for instance, there's uh, still great opportunity to grow. Um, the market is getting more professional. The market is, is growing in the sense that there's not such a high percentage of branded hotels yet. And in both investors and financiers look for brands. 
Um, so I would say it's quite different depending market on market by market. Uh, but overall, also what we see is there's still opportunity for us to grow um, even in the mature markets because we have complementary brands and we can sort of bring value in those cities or those destinations where we're not present yet. So we still have that, uh, have that possibility.